will we save ourselves from this climate crisis? Well, I mean, I think that that's a million dollar, well, actually, it's like a trillion dollar question, I Question. suppose, um, right? It's not, it's not a million dollar question. It's got to be a trillion dollar question. But I mean, I think that we need to start with this, which is there is this this we we have to recognize that the way that climate change is affecting society is unequal and as a result of the inequality there are some people and you know i don't want to put bill gates in that Mm -hmm. category Mm but -hmm. he kind of put himself there already in the yet past few yet days but yeah maybe in the future exactly but at the same time i mean it is true that the effects of the climate crisis are not going to be experienced equally across the world and even within communities and within societies and within countries right Mm -hmm. And as a result, it is true that some people can save themselves, at least for now. I don't know that that's possible long term, but at least for now, certainly, if you have enough money, you can isolate yourself. Um, you can make sure that even if there is resource scarcity, like you mentioned, uh, you'll be able to handle that. And when there's conflict due to resource scarcity, which will absolutely happen, and also because of people needing to move and being displaced, Mm -hmm. And what we know is that when people move and are displaced and they try to migrate, that can cause trouble too, as we're seeing Absolutely. in our country and we're seeing all over the place. Yes. So, I mean, so can we save ourselves? The question for me isn't, can we save ourselves? It's just how many of us can we save? Mm. And the, the answer that I come to is that we can save the most people possible mm. by working together. And as I said, you know, before, as one of the things we really need to do is we need to cultivate resilience in our communities. Mm -hmm. And that requires that we build like strong social ties so that we're able to support one another, provide mutual aid, provide resources and support when climate shocks hit. And I would just say that I, you know, my more recent work and my more recent talks that I've been giving since the Trump administration took office is, you know, talking about how what we're now facing is not just a climate crisis, but it's really a poly crisis. I mean, in the United States, we're certainly facing the crisis of the decline or the threats to our democracy. And so in a lot of ways, cultivating resilience in our communities can not only help us to be able to withstand the climate shocks that are absolutely coming. There's like no question at this point that they will come. Even if we start to really address the climate crisis, we are in for a very bumpy ride before it's resolved. And so we really need to bond together. 